Hey guys, all right, so for today's video, I wanted to take you guys with me on going through my pantry. I've been wanting to go through my pantry for a long time now because my pantry is really dark and I feel like right now I have these black bins that are inside of there. And I just feel like every time I go in there, I'm just like, oh, like it could just be so much better. Um, I just haven't taken the time to ever do it. So I am gonna do that today and kind of take you guys through with me on um, the products that I bought and why I like them. So let's go ahead and Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when it comes to organizing an area, like if you've already seen in my other video, I've talked about how I like to pull everything out. So if you pick out an area, pull everything out of it, and start from there. Have everything fresh and clean, and what I did with my pantry is I wiped everything down with the Clorox wipe because, um, you know, over time it does get a little dirty. Then secondly, go ahead and go through everything. Make sure that you throw away anything that has old dates on it. Make sure you go through anything that maybe you can give away if you feel like you're never going to eat it. There was definitely a lot of things that were in our pantry that like we bought maybe like two or three of and like we tried it once and we're like, no, like we don't like it or the kids didn't like it. So I definitely put like a donation pile aside. And then I kind of organized all of my stuff too and like cleaned them up like our syrup like kind of had some dripping marks down the side so I was like okay like washed all that off. So now the last part is the best part and the funnest part. So what I like to do is I like to take everything that I just bought, take all the tags off, take any paper off of it, any little stickers, take everything and throw it away. And then I like to Windex everything from head to toe. Obviously with the containers I wash them, let them dry. And then I was so excited that I'd like hand dried them all because I didn't want to wait for them to dry. So um, anyway, then what you do is obviously this is like the fun part. Then you start loading it up with whatever your little heart desires. And you know, with mine, I first did the drawers because I was like super excited about those. Like those were going to be like the easiest, funnest ones. So um, I definitely took all my granola bars, peanut butter crackers, all those things and lined them up. And the containers were a little tricky because I noticed when I was starting to fill them up, I was like, Oh my gosh, like we're kind of low on cereal. So um, this is actually my second day shooting because I had to go to the store um, and buy my supplies to stock them up. So, so yeah, and then that's really it. And then you kind of just um, eyeball everything into your desired liking. So this is Better Homes and Garden Brand. Um, from Walmart. I decided to go with this brand um, for a lot of different reasons. I originally wanted the OXO brand that Khloe Kardashian uses in her pantry. Um, unfortunately, those um, in this size go for like almost 20 bucks and I needed five and I was like, you know what, like they're just too expensive. Um, and these right here were only $8.99. Not only the price point, but um, the backstory is when I was posting on Instagram, you know, that I wanted to film this whole uh, pantry, you know, thing that I was gonna do. Um, some girl raced out to me and was like, girl, you gotta go check out Costco. Like I saw that they have them there and either she got them there or she saw them there um, for sale. And when I went online, I was like so excited because I saw like through a bunch of different hashtags that they did have them and they were going for really cheap. I think for like a package, it was like 60 bucks and you got like a huge set. Um, it was just like crazy, like ridiculously like a great deal. So. I was all excited and I went down there and they didn't have them. Unfortunately, I was like a month too late. So that really sucked. So then my second option after I went to Costco was um, Home Goods because some girl told me that she saw that brand there for cheap, um, as cheap as Walmart. So I was like, oh my God, of course, like that's gonna be my next option. So I went there immediately after and I was so bummed because when I got there, um, I did see that they carried the brand, but when I was like picking them up and looking at the prices, I was like, they are just as expensive online. So. Um, maybe she got lucky in the one that she went to happened to have them lower for some reason. I'm not sure. Maybe she was in a different state, but, um, yeah, they were totally the same price that I saw online. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to spend, you know, for this size of the OXO brand, they sell them for like, it was like $18.99 for one and I need five and that was just the cereal, um, you know, form and I wanted like a bunch more too. So I was like, yeah, like, and then just out of curiosity, I was like, how much are the smallest ones that they have, you know? So like I picked it up and I was like looking at it, I was like in my head, like, 
I bet you it's gonna be like eight bucks. And sure enough, I picked it up and it was $8.99. I was like, yeah, it was like so small. I was like, what would I put in there, nuts? <laughs> you know, so not that I have nuts laying around anyway. But anyway, so I was like, yeah, fuck that. So I immediately left and I was kind of mad. Like, damn, like dude, two stores, like and getting in and out of the car with kids, as you guys know, is like a lot. So anyway, I was like, well, you know what? Like I can either go to the container store. They have a container store here because another girl told me to go there and she had already done her pantry and she like was really happy with her results. Or I could go to Walmart where I originally had already bought one because I was like, well, let me see if it fits like my whole cereal and yada yada. So I was like sitting in the parking lot like thinking and I was like, you know what, like if I have to eventually return one of them, like I can either drive, you know, 25 minutes or I can drive five minutes from my house to a Walmart and I feel like Walmart's, you know, return policy would be a lot um, easier or better, whatever you want to call it, versus the container store. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to try to go to a third place and like get let down if, you know, whatever reason. So I was like, fuck it, like I'm just going to go to... Um, Walmart so I'm so happy that I went there because um, this is the Better Homes brand and as you guys know if you guys obviously shop at Walmart they sell like all kinds of home stuff um, the way I look at it is like you know how whenever you're shopping at Walmart for like groceries and you see like the great value brand and typically it's a lot cheaper than um, you know like you know the expensive brand um, what buddy you're hungry you want more say more um, okay hold on Okay, sorry, my son wanted more food. Um, anyway, so the way I look at it is Better Homes to me is like a knockoff of like more expensive brands. So to me, like when I was examining it at the store, I was like, okay, like it seems like nice quality to me. Like it seems like, I don't know, like there's nothing that I could visually see that's wrong with it. Um, now watch them like all break within like a month, like the tops fall off or something. But anyway, so I bought five of these because uh, we have a lot of cereals because Penelope has her favorite, I have my favorite, Will has his favorite, and then there's other two brands that are for like snacks, so like I like to put them in baggies, so that's why there's five of those. So the second option I went with when it came to picking out another container was this one, so it almost looks like it's cut in half. Um, and these were actually the only two that I ended up getting, so I got five of these and five of these, and I'll show you here in a second exactly what I put inside of them. Um, I chose not to get any more because I actually have more snacks that I liked, that I would like to put in drawers. So, um, you know, that's why some of the sets online didn't really work for what I was looking for and my envision of my pantry because, you know, whenever you buy those sets, you have to take into consideration what they're giving you. So some of them were for like, um, there was like a really tall one that was for like spaghetti, then there was a small one. There was like all these different sizes. That's why I decided just to kind of stick with this um, and decide, I decided to put five of these on the top shelf and then on the next shelf down I put these and then I'm going to talk to you guys right now about the drawers that I decided to buy. Okay, so this is what I bought from Marshall. So I decided to buy like the clear drawer type style ones so that um, you know, like I said, like my pantry looks so dark, so with the clear ones, you can not only see what's inside of it, but it just makes your whole pantry look really nice and clean and organized. So um, I'm really excited about these. These ones were $5.99 each, and I bought 10 of them. I also bought these two larger ones that were $4.99, which is kind of random that they were cheaper, but whatever. Um, I bought two of them, one to store like bread and bagel and those types of things and then the second one is just like all your other knickknacks like syrup and oil and stuff like that. Next to you. First tip, measure your area. Make sure that before you go to the store to buy your supplies, make sure that you have enough room in your pantry. My pantry is really small and little so I was like I'm not trying to make a mistake and have to come back here more than I have to. So um, measure it out and I brought my measuring tape with me to the store so that that way whenever I'm there like I'm like super awkward and like I <laughs> like measure out my you know my area and I think it was like my uh, shelf was like 27 inches so I laid out you know my 27 inch uh, measurements and then I started laying out like everything like my drawers or like my containers to kind of see like okay, should I buy an extra one? Should I move one out? Stuff like that. So definitely measure before you buy too many or too little. Also, another tip, bring your snacks with you when you go shopping because I noticed that they did have a lot of different sizes. So maybe the sizes that I like, you guys don't like, and maybe the sizes that you guys like, I didn't like. But um, Anyway, so um, I guess depending on what you're looking for because I did notice that 
My popcorn doesn't actually entirely fit in here perfectly the way that I would like it, but I did kind of mingle with it, which you'll see that um, to kind of make it work. But definitely bring the snacks that you are going to choose to put in these drawers so that you um, have the right measurements for them. Okay, so this is what my pantry looked like before. It was really dark with all these dark bins in here, and as you can tell, it kind of wasn't as organized as I would probably like it to be. But I got to a point where I was just kind of over the way it looked, and I wanted something new and something brighter. So this is the finished look, and I'm so happy with it. And anybody that knows me, or if you've been following me on my Instagram, or follow me on here, you know that I'm probably going to end up labeling all of these. But for the moment right now, I'm kind of liking the way it looks just like this without them being labeled. But who's to say if that's going to change here in the next few weeks. But for right now, I am enjoying it being not labeled. And yeah, I just love how it looks. And if you can see down here on the second shelf, this is where I added those two big clear containers. And to the right of it, I bought these actually at the dollar store to store cans in. And I used to have five, and I downsized them now to just the few that are on the side. And I love them, so check out your local dollar store because these were a really awesome find. And then this is what the bottom of my pantry looks like. I just have a crate that I got at Michael's a few years ago, which I probably should paint it. Um, and I just store all my cookbooks in there that I've gotten from friends or gifts or family members. Um, throughout the past couple of years and I just store them in there tallest to smallest and then I have my avocado oil and our pink lemonade down here because they're a little bit too tall for my shelves and then on the top of that crate I have placemats for the table for the kids. Okay and my last tip, I don't know why I felt like I had to jump in there, um, my last tip for you guys is Make sure you don't bring your spouse with you because they might be questioning, is this really necessary? And they might be adding up the numbers too and being like, Cheryl, I don't think you need all this. So let's we'll just sweep this under the rug like we all do when we go to Target. <laughs> So, um, yeah, don't bring them with you. That is really it for organizing your pantry. I'm so happy with the way mine turned out. Um, even though, you know, if you think about numbers and start everything up, it is a lot um, when you start adding everything up, but it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. You're gonna do it once and you're never gonna do it again. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I would like to do any time that I like go through like an area I would like to film just because it's actually pretty easy and short and I don't have to put like too much thought into it. So yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know if you like it and stay right here I feel like this hair is well it's not that I feel it's like I know that this hair is like a lot longer than my other hair and I was thinking about cutting it to make it even and then I was like oh I kind of like it that it's like awkwardly long right here and the rest of my hair is like short and uneven but if I go like this you can't really tell so I'm actually laughing because I just realized that what I just said about my hair like it reminds me in that part in Finding uh, Nemo when like the little girl, she's like, um, has like a shorter leg or arm or whatever you call it. And she's like, but you can't really tell, especially when I move them like this. I feel like that was me.